So this is the MX model right here. And first thing you're going to want to do is to open up this shield, swing it back so that it, it doesn't get any paint on it. Then we're going to take it and in either a four inch tray or a nine inch tray, we're going to just spend some time loading up the roller. Then we usually take it and roll it out a little. Then I'm going to take the shield here. I'm going to close the shield. Then we're going to put it a couple inches. Can you see that? Away from the wall. We're going to swing in. And we're going to go up. And okay. And then if you kind of come in here and take a look, you'll see how close that gets to the very edge. Obviously, it's a lot faster than doing this by hand by using a paintbrush or masking tape. Then when I'm done with that, there's this little ridge here, and I'm going to open the shield so it gets out of the way, and I'm going to just feather out this edge so that there's not a little ridge there. And there we go. Let's say we've edged a room and we're not going to paint for a little while, maybe 5, 10, 15 minutes. What I'll do is we'll go ahead and take the brush out of its holder. Um, and this is just a water bottle that we cut the top off of, and we'll just drop it in there when we're not painting. And that way, that way we can keep the paint from drying out in the bristles. And when we're ready to paint again, we'll go ahead and take it out. We'll swish it around. We'll take off any excess um, paint, and we will stick it back into the into the holder. And don't worry about it if it's wet. If it's wet, that actually helps the paint flow. Sometimes it'll make your line a little bit cleaner. If you're having trouble with the paint getting dry on the brush and you're kind of getting globs along the edge, one thing we recommend is you take the paintbrush, swish it out, get rid of any kind of buildup of paint on this little brush, and then stick it back into the edger and you're good to go. This is really important here. It says important press down firmly here. And by here, we mean anywhere on the label. If we press firmly down here, we don't even need to grab it. What's going to happen is that the roller is going to be perfectly flat against the wall, which means that it's applying paint evenly from left to right. The other thing that's going to happen when we press down right here in the middle is that these two wheels are going to be firmly against the wall. When all four points are firmly against the wall, the brush, which is right here, as you can see, I'll, I'll do it upside down. When I press down, you'll see that that little brush is against the wall and it's pushing out. And so it's going to be pushing the paint right up to the very edge of the trim. If for some reason I don't push firmly here, but I take it and I like lift the back two wheels off, which a lot of people will do, like lifting it up this way or this way, then that little brush is not getting onto the wall and isn't going to be painting up to the trim. So very important that you take it and you press firmly here. Now, a lot of people ask about right and left hand. So as long as I'm pressing firmly here, I can have it up against this trim like this, and the paint is going to be applied right up to the edge. I can turn it this way, and just by pushing firmly here and going up and down, I'm going to be painting the trim to the left. If I'm painting up against the ceiling, I can hold it like this or even like this, or, or any way I can just to, but you want to be holding it here. You know, you want to make sure that you're not lifting the two wheels off of the wall. If I'm painting up against baseboard, I can do it this way. And again, it's going to be positioning the brush exactly where it needs to be to paint up against the baseboard. On the MX and the XT, we have the brush adjuster lever right here. So this is important. If you're painting along and you see that that brush isn't quite getting as close to the edge of the trim as you want it to, all you need to do is you need to take this little brush adjuster lever. Well, first off, you're going to start with it in the down position. I usually say start with it in this position right here. If you notice that there's the line isn't close enough, then we just lift it up a little. And then we'll paint a little more. And if it's still not the way you like it, lift it up even more and then lift up. Normally you won't have to lift it up any more than that right there. When you push it back down, if you want to push it back in, you'll move that lever back into the down position, and then you'll take your brush and just push it gently so it's all the way back into the socket. The other 
feature that we have on the MX is this quick release roller lever. When I've been painting, instead of having to wrestle the dirty painted roller off with my gloves or hands, all I do is I come up here, I press this lever, boom, I'm done. Easy, no mess.